Hello and welcome to how to divide polynomials. So we've talked about addition, we talked about subtraction, we did uh, multiplication as well, where we did super distribution. And so now we need to talk about how to divide polynomials. Now this is really pretty uh, basic, just because we've, we've already kind of established this rule. For example, if I have 8x to the fourth, and I divide this by 2x squared, we know that when we divide, um, this I mean, this is a, an example of division of polynomials. We're going to take uh, 8 divided by 2, we get 4, and we're going to take x to the fourth over x squared. Remember that when we divide polynomials, when we divide, uh, exponents or powers, maybe we want to say, when we divide powers, uh, we simply subtract the exponents, subtract exponents. So on this uh, question here, um, we would basically get 4x to the 4 minus 2, which is 2. This is really all the section is about, and we kind of kind of already covered it. Um, it. They do take it one step further, like uh, something like this, 20x to the 5th power plus 15x to the fourth power plus uh, 10x squared. And what if I wanted to divide this by 5x squared? So this is just a, a polynomial on top. This is a trinomial. Uh, the degree is 5. The leading coefficient is 20. And we're going to divide it by a monomial of degree 2 with a leading coefficient of 5. The best way to do this is just to split them up. Uh, it'll be this divided by this, this divided by this, and this divided by this. In fact, you could even write it out separately if you'd like. So I'll go ahead and write out each step here. Um, basically, I'm just rewriting this so that they're all divided by the 5x squared. So when we do this, we can now cancel it out. I've got 20 divided by 5. Well, that's just 4. x to the fifth divided by x squared. We subtract the powers, uh, the exponents. We get 4x cubed. 15 divided by 5 is 3. x to the fourth over x squared. We would subtract. We get 2. And then we have plus 10 divided by 5. That's just 2. And x squared, x squared, that just cancels out. And that is our answer. So in doing polynomials, when dividing polynomials, you want to split up each of the top uh, parts of the polynomial and divide it by what you're dividing by. Let's give you guys a, a couple practice problems. Okay, so here are four problems for you to try. Go ahead and pause the video and uh, take out your video notebook and give these four problems a try. We're just dividing these polynomials. So you're going to uh, take each of the part on top and make sure you divide each of those parts that are on the top with uh, what you're dividing by on the bottom. Uh, go ahead and push play when you're ready to resume. Okay, so let's uh, check your answer, see how you did. Uh, first thing we're doing here is dividing. So 25 divided by 5, well, that gets us 5. And x to the 7th divided by x to the 6th. So uh, when you divide powers, you subtract the exponents. So we'd have x to the 7th minus 6, which is just 5x to the 1. And you don't even have to put the 1. You can if you want, but we, usually it's implied, so we don't have to do that. Okay, good. On number 2, we're going to separate this polynomial into separate polynomials. We're going to divide each of the top parts by the bottom part. So 9 divided by 3, that comes out to be 3. And y to the 7th divided by y cubed comes out to be y to the 4th. Plus 6 divided by 3, well that's 2. And y to the 5th divided by y cubed, we subtract those, we get y squared. So again, when you're dividing powers, subtract the exponents. On this one here, there's no exponents to uh, do, but we do, uh, all we need to do is divide each of these by 8. So I don't know if you guys like writing it out. You can if you want. Uh, it's not really necessary if you don't want to. 24 divided by 8, that comes out to be 3x squared plus 8x divided by 8 is x minus 2 is the answer. Wow, I kind of ran out of room on that one. Um, good. And on this one here, again, we can separate it out. 4x to the 4th y over 2x squared y minus 8x to the 6th y cubed over 2x squared y. We now can uh, do the division. 4 divided by 2 is 2. x to the 4th divided by x squared is x squared. y divided by y, that's gone. Uh, 8 divided by 2 is 4. x to the 6th divided by x squared. We subtract the powers, so we get x to the 4th y cubed divided by y comes out to be y squared. Those are the four problems that we need to do there for division of uh, polynomials. Uh, this is a fairly um, 
pretty basic section. Uh, we're not going to actually give you any more uh, uh, problems. Uh, there is one uh, item I want to address from a previous section, though, uh, before we call it a day. Uh, let's go ahead and look at that right now. So this is the one uh, topic I, I failed to mention in our last section. I want to make sure to uh, revisit this, revisit the idea of multiplication. There's two types of problems here, and uh, both are being raised to the second power. In this first example, uh, what we can do is simply distribute or use the multiple power rule to raise everything inside to the second power. So I get 5 to the second power times x cubed to the second power. And 5 squared is 25, and x cubed squared, we multiply the powers, gets us x to the 6th. Um, so we can do that. Uh, notice the big important thing here is that this only has one term. There is no addition, no subtraction inside the parentheses. This is just all one term. Um, no addition or subtraction inside. Now, on a problem like this, when you have addition or subtraction inside, this is multiple terms. In fact, this has two terms. x is a term and uh, 2 is a term. So when you have addition insi inside or subtraction, you have to write twice or uh, write, write twice, then multiply. So if you have an addition or a subtraction sign, you write it twice, then multiply. So here I have x plus 2 squared. To do this problem, I have to write it twice. x plus 2 times x plus 2. Okay, And then we can use super distribution uh, to multiply these out. So I get x times x, which is x squared. x times 2, which is 2x. Two, 2 times x, which is 2x. And 2 times 2, which is 4. So we combine the like terms, we get x squared plus 4x plus 4, and that's our answer for that one. So be aware, be aware that if there is no addition or subtraction inside, then yeah, you can simply use the, the multiple power rule. However, if you have addition or subtraction inside, like this problem here, then we have to write it twice and use super distribution. Super important that you don't get those confused. A lot of people would look at this problem and just distribute this 2 power in and say the answer is x squared plus 4. Uh, x squared plus 4 is not right. <clears throat> you have to write it out twice. Notice that you get x squared plus 4x plus 4. I guess you were kind of close, but you're missing the middle stuff. Okay, let's give you a couple problems of those and then we'll call it a day. Okay, so here are three questions we'd like you to try. The first is parentheses 2x plus 3, close parentheses squared. And, well, I won't read them all. You can just uh, figure them out there. Go ahead and pause the video and try these three problems using the multiplication rules we uh, talked about. And then press the play button to check your answers. Okay, let's see how you did. Again, when doing a problem like this, uh, we are squaring a binomial. And so it should be written out twice. So we write this out. 2x plus 3 times 2x plus 3 and use super distribution. 2x times 2x is 4x squared. 2x and 3x is 6x. 3 and 2x is another 6x. And 3 times 3 is plus 9. So we get 4x squared plus 12x plus 9. So remember, you got to write it out and uh, two times and then do super distribution. With this one here, 5x squared minus 2. 5x squared minus 2, we write them out. I get 25x squared minus 10x minus 10x plus 4, which gets us 25x squared minus 20x, that's a 2, yikes, plus 4. Okay, then uh, for this one here, there is no need to... Uh, no need to write it out twice. Uh, we're just going to multiply everything. Uh, we can just uh, multiply the 2 in. And I get 49x to the 10th, y to the 6th. OK, well, that's it for this lesson. We talked about division, and then we uh, reviewed a little multiplication just to make sure that you understood uh, what to do in this type of situation when we have plus or minus inside the parentheses. OK, uh, have a great day, and you can move on to the assignment.